Welcome to the Washington State Healthcare Authority Introduction to Zoom webinar. This webinar will review an introduction to the Healthcare Authority, a basic overview of Zoom, our license distribution policy, information on activating your account and using Zoom for appointments, and how to seek technical support. The Washington State Healthcare Authority is the state's largest healthcare purchaser. We purchase physical and behavioral healthcare for more than 2.5 million Washington residents through these four programs Medicaid, also known as Apple Health, the Public Employees Benefits Board Program, the School Employees Benefits Board Program, and the COFA Islander Healthcare Program. The Washington State Healthcare Authority recognizes the importance of telehealth in delivering services during the COVID-19 outbreak. As the state Medicaid agency, we are especially committed to ensuring that underserved populations have access to high quality and timely care. In support of telemedicine technology, the Healthcare Authority has procured a limited number of licenses for Zoom, which is a video conferencing technology that helps providers continue seeing patients without a physical encounter. Zoom is an easy to use software that gives providers the ability to host a virtual meeting room where patients can enter and exit for their appointments. Zoom is not a scheduling, documentation, or billing software. It is a video platform only. To use Zoom, providers and their clients will need a device device such as a phone, tablet, laptop, or desktop with an internet connection, microphone, and a camera. Licenses procured by the Healthcare Authority are HIPAA and 42 CFR Part 2 compliant. Using one of the Healthcare Authority Zoom licenses does not guarantee Healthcare Authority Medicaid payment for services. You must be enrolled with HCA as a Medicaid provider in order to claim Medicaid payment. our license distribution policy. We want to distribute our limited number of licenses free of charge to providers who have a meaningful need for this platform to support continuity of care and don't already have access to telehealth technology. Providers should have active licenses to practice and are actively seeing patients. We will be providing prioritizing providers according to criteria that may include a combination of, but are not limited to, those who serve a meaningful number of Medicaid clients, do not already have other HIPAA or 42 CFR Part 2 compliant video capabilities, are in smaller practices with less infrastructure, serve children, adolescents, pregnant or parenting women or tribal members, are opioid treatment programs or community mental health centers, and prescribe or support prescribers of medications to people diagnosed with significant mental illness or substance use disorder. Activating your account. If your request for a Zoom license is approved, you will receive an email at the email address you provided that looks like this. Click on the link in the email to complete your Zoom registration process. Once you complete the registration process, you will be given a personal meeting ID, also abbreviated as PMID. Treat this as your virtual office address, where you can invite patients to come meet you at their appointment times. It is a URL that is yours only to use. It can be found by clicking on your profile and then navigating to your PMID. In order to invite patients to your meeting room, send them an email with your PMID. This email may be as simple, simple as the template shown here. Dear patient name, your appointment time is on date and time. Please click on this link at that time. Insert your PMID URL here. Regards, provider name. At the appointed time, providers should navigate to your PMID URL, admit your patient to the meeting room when they appear, and adhere to best practices for telehealth, such as confirming your patient's identity. 
In order to end the meeting, click Leave Meeting. In order to start their appointments, patients should click on the link from a desktop browser or install the Zoom app on their smartphone. A few privacy reminders. If you are still meeting with your last patient and your next patient tries to join your meeting, you will see them appear in the waiting room. Make sure you do not admit them from the waiting room until your current patient leaves your meeting room. You can also remove patients by clicking on Manage Participants and then Remove Participant. For technical support, you can access the Zoom Help Center at the following address. There you will see helpful sections such as popular topics, one-minute video introductions, and get help. Thank you for listening to the Washington Healthcare Authority Introduction to Zoom webinar, and thank you for providing high-quality care for the people of Washington State.